of this, you know, uh, laudatory uh, aspects of, of ASEAN, uh, would you like to both underline it even further? Well, thank you. David. No shades of confrontasi anymore between Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and so on? Well, let me get to the sort of bilateral and trilateral relations later. But I think first, give me, allow me to thank the uh, ASEAN Bank for inviting me. Secondly, I think we need to thank Pat Marty for putting the humble but provocative question, does ASEAN matter? And then we need to thank all our governments and the bank for answering it. It does matter. Uh, uh, not just because of the headline epicenter of growth, but even when we get to the so-called negative part of ASEAN, that still means that it does matter because we sweat about it being better. And I think that's where both the parts of the discussion, the positive and negative, come together. If I look at the positive side, if you wanted to focus on, I think both Pat Marty and my good friend Kawi have said a lot. I just want to add a few details. First, managing that diversity and difference is critical. Uh, Singapore has an FTA with the EU. Indonesia and Malaysia have palm oil and other problems with the EU. We respect the difference, and we will wait for the day where these problems can be resolved to have a block to block. On Russia, Singapore has sanctioned Russia, and others have not. Vietnam, our good friend, is a staunch friend of Russia. Yet this year and last, Singapore and Vietnam have come to a number of very critical economic and strategic uh, relationships and agreements, not just for industrial parks, but further in the digital and green economy. I hope these two are examples of what Pati, Pat Marty said, uh, unity, uh, managing the diversity and difference of opinion. Sometimes when we look at ASEAN, the positive gets washed out because we read too much of some of the international press. If I read the agenda today, it's all about difficulties in one of our countries, Myanmar, and about the South China Sea involving China and four ASEAN members. These are important strategic issues, but they are not only those issues. The critical part for ASEAN is to respond to these issues, but more than that, set our own agenda. And when I look at where I am today in Jakarta compared to where I could not be just one year ago, in Jakarta or almost any other country. We have a very strong, necessary agenda for post-pandemic recovery. The world is not just complex, growth is slower, capital is more costly. This plus the health and equality of our people to eradicate poverty, this is the ASEAN agenda.